Holt International's Child Nutrition Program is designed to standardize child growth screening protocols to ensure that children are growing to their full potential. An important part of this process is anthropometric measurements, which refers to the way that children are measured and includes measurements like height and weight. This video will demonstrate proper procedures for measuring head circumference of a child. The routine assessment of a child's growth provides an important guide to a child's health, development, nutritional status, and response to treatment or nutrition interventions. Head circumference is a fundamental measurement for tracking a child's growth. The brain develops most rapidly in the first five years of life. Tracking a child's head circumference is an important way to ensure brain growth and development is normal. Measurement techniques. The tools you'll need to measure head circumference include a head circumference tape, a pin, and a head circumference growth chart. To measure the head circumference of infants and children up to five years of age, you will need a head circumference measurement tape. A cloth measuring tape is not appropriate. It is very important to take this measurement quickly and accurately while using the appropriate tools. The person measuring the child must first wash their hands. Ensure the head circumference tape is sanitized to avoid the spread of illness. Place the tape around the child's head. The head circumference tape should be placed above the ears and midway between the eyebrow and the hairline to the bump at the back of the head. However, this is a guide and not all children have the same head shape. Adjust your approach as needed, but keep in mind that your aim is always to measure the largest circumference possible. Pull the head circumference tape firmly around the child's head so that the hair is compressed and there is not space between the tape and the child's head. However, be sure not to pull the tape so tightly that the child's skin bulges around the measurement tape. Read the measurement between the arrows in the window of the head circumference tape and call the number out loud. The measurement should be taken to the nearest millimeter and recorded to the first decimal. Remember, always look for bends or kinks in the head circumference tape before every use. A bent head circumference tape will not provide accurate results and should be replaced. Sanitize the head circumference tape before use, between children, and after use. You can always repeat the procedure to verify accuracy, especially if the child was moving. The tape should be pulled firmly tight around the widest part of the child's head. Documentation. A single measurement does not reflect the rate of growth. In order to establish a child's growth trends, the child's measurements must be routinely made and plotted on a growth chart. Measurements should be immediately recorded into the nutrition screening system. The nutrition screening system form should be completed within the same day as the child's measurements. In order to complete the nutrition screening system action plan, growth charts must be consistently plotted and interpreted. This measurement must be recorded in the child's record in the nutrition screening system database and must include the date and name of the measurer and should also be plotted on the head circumference for age growth chart. There is one growth chart that uses a child's head circumference to determine if they are meeting developmental targets. The head circumference for age chart measures the child's head circumference according to their chronological age. Each child should have their own set of growth charts that track their overall progress. Refer to these charts when determining the child's overall health status. Watch the growth chart training video to learn more about proper growth chart plotting and chart interpretation. You may also review the child nutrition training manuals or corresponding child nutrition training modules. Tracking children's growth consistently and accurately is one of the best preventative methods for combating malnutrition early in a child's life. 
This is just one of five critical indicators of a child's growth and development. Please review Holt's other child nutrition training videos.